morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayer. Today's topic is this. How to overcome poverty. How to overcome poverty. This is today's topic. But uh, this topic is not for only about money, but also our life. Because we have two types of our life, accumulative or wasteful. So this thinking or this rule can be used in your life too, not only money. But today, we, I, I am concentrating on the topic of about poverty, how to overcome it. Okay, so now let us start. So first point is check yourself. Check yourself, okay? What is your strengths or, and what is your weak points? Please check yourself. And regarding money, what kind of money what are, are you using? And how much you can get it in your daily life or monthly or yearly, okay? So please check like that. What is, uh, please check yourself. This is first point. And the second point is, uh, please uh, make better. Please make your weak points better. So now you check how much you spend for house, or tuition, food, or etc. You already found out. But please think how to make it better. For example, now you are spending uh, $600 for house in one month. But please search Google or cell phone and find out $300 for one month for your house. So then you can, uh, you can move your house to there. Then you can save uh, $300 per month. So this is improvement, right? So. Uh, uh, of course, it's not the same situation, but it's, we can improve in this way. So you can use in daily life too. You can, when you find out the, your weak points and how to overcome it read, through reading a book or your skill training or something like that. Right? So second point, uh, make your weak points better. This is second point. And third point is make your strengths stronger. <laughs> Very simple, right? <laughs> so, so in, uh, in economic, uh, economically, how to get uh, your improve, uh, income better? Of course, uh, we have a limited time, and uh, maybe you are doing hard work every day, but you can think if we uh, decrease the mainly work time and we can do uh, sub work with that space part time, right? So, or if you have a family, now your wife is not working when you have, then please ask her to work for some hours in per day. Then your daily poverty is getting better. For your daily life, uh, maybe you can get skill or uh, you can train your uh, something. And you can make your strength to be stronger. Right? So third point is this. Make uh, your strength stronger. Okay? So fourth point is Making habits of improvement. This is conclusion. Making habits of improvement. Right? So I first I told there are two types of life. Accumulative or wasting or wasteful. Please live accumulative life. To do so, please try to improve your 
daily life. You know, check yourself daily and find out what kind of point we can improve. Then we can feel, oh, my life is uh, improving every day. This is a kind of source of happiness, you know. When you feel the declining of your daily life, you can feel unhappy. But if you feel I'm improving, you can feel happy, right? And economically, you can think if you have saving money a little by little, and it's if it's improving, you can feel happy and you can feel uh, safe, you know? The fear of poverty will disappear through this way. So this is conclusion. And I feel the person who can save daily money is, trying, is not trying to save money. They just trying to enjoy your daily life with their uh, capacity. If they did over capacity, they will be uh, unhappy. But they live within their income. And uh, they know how much expense is needed for their happiness. Then they are, and they live they are within their income and their capacity. Then they don't need to try saving money. They, live, they need to live just as they are. Right? This is kind of a happiness. Please think the person who can save money is not trying to save money. They are just improving their daily life. Please remember this point. Thank you very much for listening. So now let us recite the happy science prayers. ロードエルカンターレ、マスター流法大川、Thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits together. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Hokawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. But the land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls resting in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. 
The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pound in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruit of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this right hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other, let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sound of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite such people to Buddha land. Now here I command. There shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people, love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love us. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil. 
and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.